World Cup winner, Cool Grand, ridden by Adrian Maguire. Three is Kiel Daimo, who's uh, our brother, Baden Starr, has just won here, ridden by Lorcan Wah. Four, the 91 Grand National winner, Seagram, ridden by Nigel Hawke. Five, Stay On Tracks, ridden by Chris Grant. Six, Four Tricks, ridden by Derek Byrne. Seven, City Entertainer, with Mr. Don McCain, Jr., putting up 11 pound overweight. Eight is the Antarctics, uh, now ridden by Richard Dunwoody, who is putting up one pound overweight. Nine is John O'D, ridden by Mr. Paul Murphy. And 10, Interim Lib, with Mr. John Bradburn putting up three pounds overweight. Those are the now nine runners in this Crowther Holmes Beecher Chase. Here's how they bet. With uh, Cool Ground, the clear favourite there, pretty strong favourite at seven to four. And second favourite, a stay on track, nine to two. Seagram is five, then a point to uh, four tricks at six to one, and the Antarctic seven to one, and Kildimo eight to one. Big gap to interim live on 20s, and on 25 to one, John D. City Entertainer, the outsider, has gone from 20 to one to 33 to one. And they're lining up, Seagram, one of the early leaders as they jump off at the first time of asking. Seagram, John D, the Antartex on the near side, stay on tracks in between them. Kildimo is there. Cool grounds at the back of the field as they run towards the second fence. The Antartex on the inside of John D. Interim Lib going up to join them as well. And they're all over that, but Seagram jumped it rather indifferently and he's lost his good early place. And now they're going to the first open ditch. The Antartex on the inside of Interim Lib. These are the two leaders from Kildimo, John D. stay on tracks. And Seagram's not liking it at all. He stopped and had a very long look at that, and he's dropped back last, and only just ahead of him is four tricks as they jump the fourth. Interim Lib, a flying leap, lands in front of the Antartex on the inside, then Kildimo is third, then comes stay on tracks and John D, then Cool Grand and City Entertainer, four tricks, and a long way last is Seagram as they cross the Melling Road and we join Peter O'Sullivan. 47-year-old John Bradman on interim lib, the leader, as they round this turn and make their way towards the fifth fence. Interim lib, the Antarctics towards the right. Towards the left comes Kildimo. John D just in behind them with stay on tracks and then cool ground. The Antarctics, the grey now from interim lib. Richard Dunwoody on the Antarctics comes to this one. Number five lands in the lead from interim lib. Then Kildimo, who's jumping well in behind them. Coming down to the sixth now and the Antarctics towards the inside of the fence from interim lib and kill Dymo. Just in behind them, stay on tracks. Seagram is the back marker at the moment, and now they're coming down to the chair, number seven, one of the most daunting obstacles on the course. It's the Antarctics over on the far side, Kildame on the near side, interim lib between horses, just in behind them, come stay on tracks, and then cool ground on the far side. Then City Entertainer and Seagram a faller. Seagram's unseated his rider at the chair. They come down to the water, the leaders now, with Kildimo coming to join the Antarctics. The Antarctics on the far side. Kildimo doesn't jump it too well in second. Then in third is Interim Lib. Four is Cool Ground on the inside of Stay On Tracks. Then City Entertainer and Four Tricks. And John O'D is the back marker as they go out into the country with the Antarctics. The leader from Kildimo, Interim Lib, Stay On Tracks and Cool Ground. A little gap there to City Entertainer, and as they run down across the Melling Road and race down to Beaches Brook, which will be number 14, we rejoin John Hanmer. And they're crossing the Melling Road now, and the Antartex, the grey, Kildimo racing rather wider, interim lip close up on the inside, Adrian Maguire right on the extreme inside on cool ground as they jump the ninth fence, the Antartex over first. John a detail right off, just jumping it now. And uh, coming down to the tenth fence, which would be the second fence in the Grand National, and the Antartex from Kildimo, interim lib, cool ground, stay on tracks, four tricks, city entertainer, and tail right off is John a D who just clambered over that and coming to the next open ditch, fence number 11, and the Antartex led over it. 
and over in the centre of the course is Kildimo. John Adi has called it a day. And coming to the 12th, it's the Antartex Kildimo interim lib stay on tracks and cool ground. They're closely bunched in a very bad mistake, but a brilliant recovery by City Entertainer as they go to the 13th fence, the one before Beaches and the Antartex and Kildimo and interim lib. And cool ground has fallen. Cool ground fell. He's up on his feet quickly. Adrian Maguire just sitting up. And City Entertainer continues, but a long way last, and Adrian Maguire looks absolutely disgusted as they come to Beaches Brook and Kildimo on the outside, the Antarctic, interim lib, and stay on tracks, and they're well clear of four tricks who didn't jump it well, and City Entertainer's been pulled up as they go to the 15th. And there at the Antarctic led from Kildimo, then interim lib and stay on tracks, and these four closely bunched as they run to the canal turn. The Antartex and Richard Dunwoody just in the lead. From interim lib who got through on the inside, then kill Dymo and stay on tracks. And these four still closely grouped and they're clear of four tricks as they jump Valentine's. They've completed a circuit. And the Antartex shows in front of kill Dymo, stay on tracks and interim lib and they're still very tightly grouped as they go to the fifth from home. And a good jump there by Kildimo, landed in the lead from the Antarctic. Interim lib and stay on tracks, just a few lengths behind now. Four tricks trying to get into it as they go to the last ditch, four from home. Kildimo, another good jump, increases his lead from the Antarctic. Then stay on tracks under pressure. Interim lib struggling to stay with them. Four tricks some way behind as they jump the third last and Kildimo over clear. Kildimo from the Antarctic stay on tracks. Interim lib four tricks trying desperately to get on terms. But as they go across the Melling Road with two to jump, it's Kildimo from the Antarctic stay on tracks. Interim lib and four tricks and over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, it's Kildimo, whose half-brother has won already this afternoon. Almost the forgotten horse is Kildimo, but he's in the lead in the Crowther Holmes Beecher chase as they round the home turn with two fences left to jump. Racing towards fence number 21. Kildimo in the lead from the Antarctic. Lorcan Wah from Richard Dunwoody. Then comes Chris Grant on stay on tracks. The Antarctic is coming back to challenge Kildimo as they come down to the second last. At the second last, and Kildimo lands in the lead from the Antarctic on the far side. Then comes stay on tracks back in third. It's Kildimo under Lorcan Wah from the Antarctic under Richard Dunwoody as they come to the final fence in the Beecher. Kildimo lands in the lead by two lengths from the Antarctic. Stay on track, jumps in third and four tricks four. They're racing towards the elbow now where so many Grand National hopes have found it. It's a long way to go to the line from here, but Kildimo has a clear advantage over the Antarctic with stay on tracks next and then four tricks racing inside the final furlong. And Kildimo under Lorca Guerra, trained by Sue Smith, is going to win the Crowther Home. Beach a chase as they come up to the line. Kildimo wins it. A storming finish by four tricks carries him into second place. The Antarctic just holds on to third ahead of stay on tracks. With last, the gallant interim lib who gave uh, John Bradburn such a fantastic ride on his 47th birthday. But Lorcan can't believe it. He's come back, the forgotten horse, the winner of the Crowther Holmes Beecher Chase, Kildimo, owned by Lady Harris, a 9 to 1 chance, trained by Sue Smith, the wife, of course, of Harvey Smith, and written by Lorcan Wah. Second was number six, Four Tricks, owned by Mrs. Stuart Catherwood, who owned that fine little horse, of course, Little Bay, trained by Gordon Richards, and written by Derek Byrne. And Third, number eight, the Antarctics, owned by the Edinburgh Wool Mill Limited, trained by Gordon Richards, like the runner-up, and written by Richard Dunwoody. Fourth was Stay On Tracks. First, number three, Kildimo, nine to one. Second, number six, Four Tricks, six to one. And third, number eight, the Antarctics, five to one.